Let's start by selecting our object, go to the Place Actor window, select Shapes, drag and drop the sphere into your environment, your level. Okay, now just set the position of our sphere. We can change the scale, let's try two. Please be sure the lock is selected, so we change all the axes in the same time. Now we can move our sphere. I'm going to start with the end point, end keyframe for its position. Something like that should be fine. By the way, you can move the object. If you, if you press and hold the control button on your keyboard and press and hold left or right button on your mouse, then you can just move your object without selecting the axis and just moving it manually. Okay, we frame here and we're going to move our sphere into that direction. Something like that, a little bit maybe to the left. Yeah, I'd like to start the shot when the sphere is behind the trees. It should work fine. Yeah, something like that. Okay, cool. Don't forget to keyframe. Should be perfect, yeah. Okay, now if you check, your object is supposed to be animated, okay? So let's see. Yeah, everything works fine. I will add material to our sphere because it will look more interesting. I have one material from the bridge, which is the mega scans. Just select your material, click inside the material, element zero, click the arrow, it will be added automatically to your sphere. So we have our actor, we have it animated, simple animation, select our camera. Now we're going to add tracking camera to our object. You will see the options look at tracking settings okay first we need to select the object actor to track so in that case obviously it will be our sphere then we have to enable look at tracking okay we can also add the allo roll but i'm not going to use it in that situation okay once we test everything works perfect as it's supposed to the situation becomes a bit more complicated when we add rotation to our object. I'm going to show you why. Okay, let's quickly add some rotation to our sphere. Okay, I think it looks good. And one more thing, don't forget to keyframe actor to track as well enable lock at look at tracking because if you leave the sequencer, uh, the settings may be basically gone. So always remember to keyframe inside your scene. Okay, now you will see the relative offset option. Okay, so you can change all the three axes is basically relative offset connected with your look at tracking at the object. But because we changed the rotation of our object, I just forget keyframe. Let's try to do it again and just keyframe. Okay, this one will be at zero, zero. And let's try some values here. So again, because we have rotation of our sphere, the camera is not going to work perfect because it's going to track the position of the sphere. As you can see, it's little jittering, it's not looking really good. So if you still want to control the movement of your camera, instead of using relative offset, there is much, much better way to do it. It's 
So inside the camera actor, you will see the camera component. Okay, click the plus and add another transform track. Okay, so it will be second transform track. So we have one for the camera actor and one will be for camera component. And inside this transform track, you can change the position of the camera. It will work perfect for your shot. So let's try some settings. Okay. It should keyframe automatic. If not, just try to keyframe manually. Always remember to keyframe. Okay, let's move to the start of the shot. I'm going to move it a bit. Yeah, it should be fine. And we'll start with that kind of the angle. Okay. Yeah, minus 220 should be fine. Yeah, I think it looks good. So right now, if we play, you will see camera is look at tracking and still in the same time you have full control over the angle of the camera one more thing we need to change we have the focus which is probably set at manual yeah that's right so we can change the focus to the tracking again we need to select the actor obviously it will be our sphere and as you can see everything works perfect keyframe and let's test our scene yeah it looks really good okay we have focus one more thing when you select the transform track and you press 4 you will change the behavior of the first first keyframe so right now it will be constant and it will start automatically in this way we'll achieve camera movement right at the beginning of the shot check out our other quick tutorials and i will really appreciate your likes and subscribes if you want to learn more head over to 3d college page for full unreal engine courses